In Atlanta, we've got the date. Former President Trump's trial in Georgia will begin March 4th. Oh, by the way, just one day before the Super Tuesday primaries. Now, Trump had asked for the trial to start in 2026, but the judge denied that request. Rich Edson has more. A unique situation for a presidential candidate, a criminal trial scheduled to begin right in the middle of election season. Judge Tanya Chutkin set a March 4th trial date for former President Donald Trump's federal election interference case. That's one day before Super Tuesday, when candidates are typically on the trail, not on trial. The judge ignored pleas from both sides. The prosecution wanted an earlier January start date. Trump's lawyers wanted to delay the trial two years until after the next election. A defendant in a criminal case is supposed to be tried within 70 days. On, on these complex white collar cases, it is not uncommon for it to take years. A trial date is still up in the air for a separate Georgia case, one also involving alleged election interference. District Attorney Fawny Willis, who brought racketeering charges against Trump and 18 others, says she wants a speedy trial. This investigation started back in uh, two years ago, and she's waited until President Trump is back in the political race. The defendants will be arraigned September 6th. Several of them are petitioning to move the case to federal court. There is a compelling argument for Trump and Meadows and perhaps others. Former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows testified in Atlanta Monday, arguing for the move. He maintains he was acting as a federal official. If Meadows is successful, that could move the trial for the other defendants, potentially giving them a somewhat more favorable jury pool. Former President Donald Trump is expected to be at a South Dakota rally just days after his arraignment. In Washington, Rich Edson, Fox 32 Chicago.